Hello and welcome to part 2 of modeling bivariate regression in OpenMX. This video will show you how to perform a significance test on a regression coefficient of a path model. In the previous video, we modeled this equation, y equals b0 plus b1 times x plus error. In practice, we are usually interested in testing if there is a linear effect of x on y. That is, if the value of b1 is 0 or not. In the structural equation modeling, or path analysis framework, we ask the same question by comparing model likelihoods. In this case, we can compare the likelihood of these two models. These models look very similar, but there is a key difference. In the left model, we are modeling an effect from x to y called b1. This effect is estimated freely by OpenMX and theoretically can be any number. The model on the right has this value fixed to zero. Because these models are nested, that is, you can create one model from the other by only adding or subtracting paths, we can compare them using a likelihood ratio test. This will give us a p-value based on a chi-square distribution. This tests the null hypothesis that the more constrained model that is, the model with b1 fixed to 0, fits the data just as well as the model with b1 free to vary. If p is very small, we can reject this hypothesis and say that b1 is a significant path in our model. It is important to note that we could have simply deleted the path between x and y and achieved the same effect. Now let's begin. In the previous video, we created a path model of a bivariate regression. Let's rerun everything up to this point. In this video, we are going to test the significance of the B1 path. Our next step is to create a second model. In this new model, we will set b1 equal to 0. I call this object my model 2 and I have named it b1 test. For the most part, this model is the exact same as the model above, but there are some key differences in this path statement. We are still modeling a path from x to y, but now we are setting free to false and values equal to 0. This forces the value of this path to 0. Everything else remains the same as in the previous unrestricted model. We then run this code and use mxrun to run this new model. Now that we have both models in R, we can use the mxCompare function to compare these two models. The first argument is my unrestricted model with b1 free to vary, and the second argument is my restricted model with b1 set to 0. Running this code gives us these values. Base is the name of the unrestricted model we placed in mxCompare. Comparison is the name of the model which the base model is being compared to. EP is the number of parameters of the unrestricted model in the first row and the number of parameters in the restricted model in the second row. Minus 2 LL is the minus 2 log likelihood of each model. Smaller values indicate a better model. DF is the degrees of freedom of these models. Notice that the restricted model has one more degree of freedom, but has a much higher minus 2 log likelihood. AIC values also seem to show that our unrestricted model is the better model. DIF LL and DIF DF give us the difference in log likelihood and degrees of freedom between these two models respectively. Finally, P is the p-value associated with this likelihood ratio test. This p is very small.
indicating that our restricted model with B1 equaling 0 is significantly less likely than our model with B1 free to vary. Thus, the B1 path is a significant path. This concludes the bivariate regression portion of this series. Thanks for watching.